Hey guys, uh, Deb here again, uh, trying to keep you guys updated on what's going on down here in Juarez. Uh, today I'm in one of the classrooms and our after school program. Uh, let me just give you a quick circle. Right here on the board is the verse they were working on last week about um, faithfulness. Uh, class schedule's over here. The uh, flowers on the wall that's very indicative of Amigo Fiel. And most of the classrooms have some sort of thing. Can you see it like this? That has pictures of the kids with the teacher and everybody's name. Um, anyway, I wanted to show you one of the classrooms. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll show you another classroom. Because they're all just a little bit different. Because each teacher is different. But God has blessed Amigo Fiel with some awesome teachers. Let me tell you. The people are great. Let's see, where the, the last week I took a lot of pictures. I went to the men's group. They went to a, a lady's house and helped her tear down a swamp cooler for the year, cleaned up her yard. Uh, after that, I actually had a little like mini class at my house where I showed a couple of ladies how to make banana bread. Um, not a lot of people who use their oven. If you remember, I had a class last year on how to make uh, what was it? cornbread. Uh, but they prefer the sweeter bread, so banana bread uh, went over very well. They enjoyed it. I uh, also went to a quinceanera, a baby shower. Uh, I got a lot done also at the actual uh, ministry. <laughs> I didn't just like go from party to party. <laughs> um, like last night I met with uh, four, it was four or five ladies. We went to Manuela's house and we made dinner for the youth group. They went over there and and uh, had their, their meeting over there. Then they ran to a park really close to her house and played some soccer. We had a good time uh, talking. I did invite them to my house on Tuesday nights when I'm studying to prepare for Wednesday service. But if you could keep that covered in prayer, uh, that God would be able to use that to strengthen the women and help them, uh, help them in their walk with the Lord. I still have a lot of special projects going on for year in, for year 25 of the ministry. I'm trying to plan a trip to Albuquerque, a care team meeting. Oh, and something that uh, you might want to participate in, in Caring Scent, it's either .com or .net, I'm not sure. It's an organization that takes your credit card purchases and rounds them up to the next dollar and then makes that donation to the ministry of your choice. A person minister has to be signed up with Caring Scent, like a penny, like a cent. Um, Caring Scent. Net or .com, I really don't know. But I believe Amigo Fiel is signed up now. If anybody would like to give in that way, uh, you can set a limit so that you're not, you know, if you put everything on your credit card every month and then it ends up being like a $4,000 donation or something and you just didn't want to have that as part of your budget, you can set a, a limit, you know, if you wanted to do $50 or $100 a month for all your credit card purchases. It just rounds off to the next dollar. But I thought that was a nice, easy way for people to give. Anyway, that's... That's what I've been doing. That's what's going on down here. Thank you for keeping us covered in prayers. We prepare for the holidays coming up, for Festa Nino, and just all the activity that happens at year end. Thanks, guys. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye.